Hey guys, I'm pulling a card and this one's going to be for Pisces, all right? What is the energy for Pisces for the next 24 hours? The energy, please, for Pisces. Okay, so then the Queen of Wands. So the energy is great, okay? I'm getting, um, be optimistic for the next um, 24 to 48 hours. Be optimistic, okay, Pisces? You could possibly be dealing with a fire sign. Big emphasis on a Leo, okay? Um, I'm, I'm getting something about, I feel like I see you being extremely grateful in the next 48 hours. I see you being extremely grateful. I hear you literally saying, thank you, God. Okay, Pisces. So for the for the next 48 hours I feel like the queen of wands is is your is your answer. Um good energy. I'm getting great opportunities. I'm even getting you laughing. Okay? So the energy is strong. I feel like um there's something here in regards to some type of justice. I'm getting some type of karmic justice. Your karma is strong. So don't be spiteful, Pisces. Don't be vindictive. Don't do anything that can disrupt your karma is what I'm hearing. That's exactly what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing be grateful that you got you got something you wanted or be grateful that you got away with something. You may feel the need in the next 48 hours to be a little irritated. I'm um, I'm getting if a, there's an ear sign like a Libra Aquarius, possibly, this could even be your fucking kids. Even if your kids are irritating you, I'm getting laugh it off. I don't know why, but that's what I'm hearing. Laugh it off. Can you tell me more about the Queen of Wands, please, for Pisces? Why is this card here, please, for Pisces? Why is this their card, okay? The Six of Cups, okay? So someone's going to share something um, with you or give you something, okay? Okay. I'm getting I'm also getting like your ex is returning. Okay, they want they want to rekindle your relationship, okay? They want to rekindle it. I'm getting if someone returns from your past Pisces, that's your karmic justice. I'm getting Pisces, you have a Scorpio child, a daughter to be specific. That's part of your karmic justice. That 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 child could be a Scorpio or a Leo. God got big plans for that child. Their future is so fucking bright. I feel like they have Mercury in fucking Libra or Mercury in fucking um, Aquarius. They're so fucking smart. So this is what I was getting, that irritation with your children, especially with your baby girl. You asked for her. I, I kind of feel like you asked for her and you got her. So I guess... Don't be a Debbie Downer or don't be irritated so easily by your child or children. I'm getting you need to tap into your 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 inner child, Pisces. I feel like your inner child is very creative. You may even find yourself um, reminiscing about when you were a child. I'm getting between the ages of six and seven. I feel like I feel like there's something I feel like there's something that happened, but at, at a child as a child that you need to come to peace with. This could be something that happened to your child. You need to come to peace with that because it was part of your fate. It was part of your karma. You think, I'm also hearing you think someone's going to get away with hurting you. They're not. Nobody's exempt from karma. 
I always say that karma always comes to those that forgive and let go. That's when it comes. Okay? So come to terms or come to peace whatever has happened in your past, Pisces. Because karma is at play. And the energy is strong. That's what I got for you.